AP Calculus, AB Optimization Problem. Um, we're going to be looking for a minimum surface area on this problem, and what I'm hoping to give you today uh, in a perfect world is an understanding of how to start breaking these problems into pieces. So our problem asks us, uh, describes to us that a solid is formed between two hemispheres to the end of a, this, this is important, to a right circular cylinder. The total volume of the cylinder is 12 centimeters cubed, and it says us to find the radius of the cylinder that produces the minimum surface area. So here's the thing that I want you to really kind of start to meditate about. When you have an optimization problem, they're going to give you two equations. So give, and given those two equations, what you have to figure out is which one is secondary and which one is primary. The one that's primary is the one that you're asked to optimize, and to optimize is to find the minimum or the maximum of something. So we can see right here, hopefully, that this, that surface area, is the primary, and that volume is the secondary. Why are we getting this? I'm not sure. That volume is the secondary, right? So volume is the secondary equation. From that, we have to start gathering some stuff that we know. And, and some of it, frankly, is a pain in the neck because we have to go back and remember what the equations are. So let's look at this for a second. We know that the volume of our, well, I guess here's a picture of what I think this thing looks like. It's like a capsule, I think. It's like this. So kind of like this, I think. So we have this right circular cylinder like this. And a lot of people say that this is the best way to start a problem. I haven't always done this, but I'm going to take good advice when I find it. So I think this is probably good advice. And then there's this hemisphere that's broken in half. And it's, I'm sorry, this is hemisphere. These two hemispheres and they're put like this. Right, so we have this capsule thing going on, right? So this is what our shape looks like, I think. Something like this. Right? And, right, this thing has this dome thing at the top of it. Okay, so here we go. So we know that the volume is 12 centimeters, right? And we know that the volume is made up of two hemispheres, which is one sphere and one right cylinder. So the volume of a sphere is four-thirds, right? And this is just formulaic, pi r cubed. And I think that makes some sense. And the volume of a right cylinder is pi r squared, sorry, h, OK? Now, I want you to keep in mind here that we're asked to find the radius r here, right? So in this case, look, four-thirds is a number. Pi is a number. Pi, again, is a number. So we have two variables here, and this is going to be a huge problem for us. So what I want you to start thinking about that now, that we have two variables. We have the variable r, because it's what we have to solve for, and h. So I'm going to go on just for a second and show you this. We know that our primary equation, our primary equation is the surface area. So the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, right? And the surface area of a right cylinder is 2 pi r h. And I'm hoping this is making good sense to you. All right. Again, look at this. I'm going to change the color of this one down here so you can see this. We have all numbers down here, but we have two variables. We have the variable that we're interested in, r, and the variable that we would like to get rid of, which is h. So what I'm going to do here is solve volume for height. And if you think about that, here's this thing I'm going to isolate, right? So all I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to move everything over. I'm going to get 12 minus 4 thirds pi r cubed is equal to, right? I, all I did was subtract this from both sides, is equal to pi r squared h. The reason, again, that I'm showing h in this color is so you can see what it is I'm trying to get to. So this is just the algebra part of this assignment, and I'm just going to divide everything by pi r squared. And when we do that, hopefully you'll be able to see that we're going to get volume in terms of h. So we'd have this over this, right? We'd have this over this, and hopefully you'll see that this pi and this one cancel. R cubed over R squared is R. So what we'd get here is that H is equal to 12, if I'm doing this right, 12 pi R squared minus 4 thirds 
R. And now hopefully you can see here that now we have H in terms of R, and when we substitute it back into this, things are going to get a lot easier. So let me take a look at my math and make sure that it is the way I thought it should be. And golly, for once I'm right. We're going to have a small celebration later. And then I'm going to do is sub this thing in. So I'm going to substitute this value in here. And this is where the H was, and it says clearly that H is this. So it is this, so it's 12 pi r squared minus 4 thirds. And I'm going to put this pi value at the top so you can, I mean this r value at the top so you can see what I'm doing better. Right, this one was in the denominator. This one is by itself over here, but it's up in the numerator, isn't it? All right, hold on one second. Took a little time out so I could put a new battery in my pen. Not that I'm sure you care, but you were wondering. All right, now I'm just going to be careful. I'm going to distribute this value in carefully here, right? So this times this, and then, of course, this times this. So look what we're going to get here. So we have surface area is equal to 4. I'm just making, the reason I'm rewriting this piece here, so I don't want to lose it. Plus, and then I'm going to multiply this piece in. So 2 pi r times 12 is 24 pi r over pi r squared, right? Minus 2 times 4 is 8 pi r times r is r squared, right, all over 3. Now take a second and figure out how you're going to simplify this because if you look, this piece and this piece can be put together. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here and I hopefully I'll be smart enough to, to make a link so you can just click on it. Hang in there with me. I hope to see you on the, in the next video.